guys, it's the Friction here, or Tiger Tank one two, however you want to call me, I don't really care. And today I'm bringing you another video. Uh, if you guys remember, uh, I made a video back uh, a couple of months back. It was um, is World of Tanks a free to play game or a pay to win game? And I tried to answer that, and uh, pretty much um, on the baseline, what I said in the end is that World of Tanks is kind of both, it's in the middle, it's not 100% pay uh, free to play but it's also not 100% pay to win since you can get all the uh, consumables, equipment, all that stuff with credits now and um, yeah well I've started playing World of, I've started to play World of Tanks a lot more now since I'm trying to get to the T-54 uh, I wanted to get to the T-54 like since forever that tank was always stuck in my head but I never got around to that or to, to grind for it now I have the experience but all I need is the credits and um, well I do own a couple of premium tanks let's check it out real fast I have a T-34 uh, I got that tank when the tier 10 and tier 9 American heavy tanks when those tanks uh, were swapped and switched out for the M103 and the T-125 uh, that used to be the T-30 the tier 10 heavy tank and it's now the tier 9 tank destroyer and the T-34 the tier 9 heavy tank it used to be horrible uh, I like the T-34 the tier 8 version a lot more and it's a lot more um, balanced in my opinion now too then I have the load this is pretty much the one tank I bought uh, one of the few premium no this is one of the, well, the this is the tank that I bought it used to be 30 bucks two years ago and I got it like two and a half years ago um, I've been playing this game since the beta uh, not the alpha, but the, one of the early betas uh, in 2011, and pretty much uh, I don't regret I regret buying this tank. I have the most bells in this tank, uh, and pretty much this is my main tank to go to if I have to uh, if I have to get credits. I have 2,504 bells in this tank, pretty much. That's a one tenth of uh, all the bells I played in World of Tanks and that's pretty much one tenth of the bells I played in this tank and the low uh, yeah we'll get to that later on then I do have the SU-12244 one of the tanks I do not regret buying uh, I think I got it for 20 bucks uh, it, you, it was on sale and I heard a lot of great stuff about it and um, it's also one of the tanks I played quite a lot of bells in 543 yeah, it's not as much as the low but uh, Still, it's uh, it's quite a number, and you can see I did pretty well in this tank. It's very OP, in my opinion. I'm not sure if it's still as OP as it used to be before, since uh, a couple of patches came in. But uh, one of the premium tanks that I really did enjoy playing, but one of the premium tanks where I did not make that much credits in. So, uh, then I have the light, everybody has that one, LTTP, LTP, everybody has that, Churchill 3, I usually never play this tank, uh, it used to be very, very strong, then they nerfed this tank, and it is now pretty much unusable and pretty weak, um, yeah, it's a tier 5, and you don't make that much cash in it either. Type 3 Chinukai, this is the newest premium tank I bought, I still had like 900 gold on my account just uh, and I just used it on this tank since it was like 800 gold and it was 50% off and I thought why not. It's a fun tank but I don't play it that often and maybe I should play uh, other tanks more often than just the low and the T-34. But the main, the main tanks I play if I want to get credits is the T-34 or are the T-34 and the Löwe. And the Löwe, uh, I will, I will, I will use the official German name, the Löwe. Um, well, it's the Tier 8 heavy German premium tank. Uh, it does quite good, in my opinion, when I play it. It's a very accurate tank, but I don't want to tell any, you anything about the tanks or stuff. But more or less, I want to get to the point where um, how much credits do we actually make with these tanks? Uh, tanks. Of course, um, that depends on how well you play in your matches. Um, if you play very well, like I had a game, I had two games in the low today, the Löwe. Uh, one was in Himmelsdorf and I got 2,835 experience and 83,000 or 84,000 credits. That's just, that is actually a very good game in my opinion. 
high caliber, ace tanker, steel wall, all that kind of stuff. So, 84,000 credits. That's uh, a pretty good number, actually. But the thing is, you still lose about 30,000 to uh, ammunition spent, equipment, and uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the consumables you use and all that stuff. So you kind of lose 30,000, you're stuck with 50,000, which is still a 50,000 plus. Well, I'm looking at this angle, uh, I'm looking at this with pretty much the view of a guy who does not own premium. I do not own premium and I have a premium vehicle. I paid money for this tank, so uh, I used 30 bucks to get this tank in the game and it should give me a big push in giving me a lot of credits. Uh, it, it should give me like 50% more credits and um, they also buffed the income of the uh, premium tanks a couple of times uh, in patches. The last time was just a couple of months ago with 5% more income. But what I really have in mind is that, in my opinion, we do not make enough credits with uh, the premium tanks without using premium, actually. When you're using premium and you get a game like that, you get 200,000 credits easily. 150 or 200,000. And that's another because premium is like, uh, I don't know, uh, yeah, unfortunately clicked on the website. No, premium, uh, let me see real fast. Premium is like a 50% more credits and um, experience income. But if you already paid for this tank, I think, or uh, in my opinion, it should be like that, that you get the also the premium bonus on this tank, so you should make more credits. Um, this is one of the things that I've noticed. I've been playing a lot of games in my low, and of course, in the Löwe, excuse me, I'll have to get used to that. Um, and not every game is as successful as the other one. Some games you get bad teams, some games you just don't work that well and um, you end up not getting that much damage and some games you're just pretty much, uh, you have bad luck. Well, everything can happen, right? So, there are not going to be that many games where you have 80,000 or uh, 90,000 plus credit games, except if you're a really good player. Uh, props to you, but... Otherwise, you'll get some bad teams, and it's just a game, you know, it's uh, it's the standard, uh, such things happen, and you cannot evade them most of the time. So, that's pretty much, in my opinion, that's why you have to spend so much time on grinding credits and playing these tanks, and if you don't have these tanks and you're trying to go to the tier 10 branch, or to get a tier 10 or a tier 9, it's pretty much impossible to reach that level, only if you really dedicate yourself to this game like uh, really every 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 afternoon and you play small tiers where you can make a plus and you can do damage and I think that is really really bad if you already have paid for such a vehicle even though the T34 in my opinion uh, I, I got it for free still I think we should make more credits off of these premium tanks and uh, this is the one problem I have with World of Tanks it's that you pay a certain price, you pay real money to this game, to the company, and you don't really receive um, that much back in return. Uh, the one problem I think is that World of Tanks is always changing the things around. Um, I think uh, I, u I make more money now on my low and T34, but still they have to, since the price is up for this tank, this tank is... If I look at the price right now, this tank is if I sell no 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 let's see in the research tree. This tank is the price of twelve thousand five hundred gold. That pretty much equals fifty bucks. Fifty bucks for this tank and you do not have premium on it. You have, always have to add the fact that you're shooting AP and that you get into tier 10 or tier 9 matches with this tank so you have to use APCR too. So that's gonna be another four, five, six, seven thousand you're gonna lose and why doesn't it resupply automatically? Holy crap I can add a lot more shells into my low. It's kinda weird. 
So I, I'm sorry. Uh, just noticed that I can add some more shells into my low, and now it can fit over 90 shells, which is or 80 shells. This is quite impressive. I don't. I didn't know that. <laughs> so um, back to the point. Um, I think that you don't make enough credits with these tanks, even though you paid real life money to for to get this tank. And uh, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, let's jump into a game. I've got one game. Uh, prepare for you guys and that's pretty much one this game right here where I did pretty good and um, the, the troubles you'll have if you get into a tier 9 or tier 10 match with this tank and just the pretty much the need to buy premium also with buying a premium tank to be able to make enough money so let's switch over I'll be right back okay so we're in Himmelsdorf and uh, this is a tier eight match so uh... one of the things you have to keep in mind is that when you're playing this tank um, the tiers are going to be very different this tank does not get um, preferred matchmaking like the IS 6 or the KB5 so you'll be facing tier 9's and tier 10's and this is one of the things you'll have to keep in mind uh, as a tier 8 uh, you can do in a tier 8 bat battle you can do all the damage you want and you can see that I'm pretty much having a really good game here because I can use my armor to my advantage I can use the gun to my advantage I don't have any other enemy on the other side who has a bigger uh, who has like a, a higher caliber than me than some tanks like T-34 it's just that it's all quite even and there are a lot more uh, lower tiers so it's going to be a pretty easy game for me that's uh, exactly how it should be like um, no that's not exactly <laughs> no no uh, I formulated that wrong I'll turn on the um, audio real fast I'm sorry about that uh, it's not how it should be but um, this is the perfect scenario for a tier 8 premium tank um, you'll try to make money and you'll face even opponents or on the same level as you are and you're you're able to do a lot of damage and that's exactly what you want to do uh, in this entire game you want to do damage and the damage um, is the main focus pretty much damage and kills and winning the match winning the match will give you the most uh, income pretty much if you win a match you get the winning bonus uh, so you get a lot more credits too um, they have changed a couple of things to that uh, if you lose a match and you played really really well you would still get a lot of credits or at least if you get a medal you'll still get at least the credit or the uh, uh, amplifier uh, like the enemy team that won so you'll still get um, the credits in return uh, like the, the winning team if you did really well in a game so the damage is the main or the most important thing right here. So I'm playing on Himmelsdorf and the low here is very well armored in um, direct comparison to other tanks. But still you can see if you show your side armor which is really big, your tank has a really big profile. It's very easy to pen your tank and you can see a tier 7 right there. Uh, just open fire at me or shoot me or shot me right here in my side armor uh, I decided to push because I knew this guy was all by himself and there's only I 6 was almost down and um, we can push this 8 line and you can see what will happen so um, I get a hit into the A44 um, this tier 7 Russian medium tank and um, I got shot by the SU-152 and pretty much this is a, a uh, well this is not the perfect spot for a low but it's not a bad spot um, I can hand out a lot of damage and you have a really good gun now or a very accurate gun in that aspect um, the reload time is 10.12 seconds um, and uh, this is with all the equipment and 2,500 matches so um, if you get this tank newly out of the factory you'll have a reload time of about 12, 13 or 14 seconds and of course with time this will, this will change 
And this is an example of a good game that uh, I have. Like, this is one of the one out of five games that I played, and uh, this is one out of the five. The, this is the one good game I had out of the five games, and this is the only game where I pretty much make the uh, credits. In all the other games, I just make enough credits, like 40,000, which I will lose 20 or you know, at least 10,000 for equipment, for ammunition, for repairs. And that pretty much just covers that, and I only make about 20,000 plus. The big problem there is that I don't have the time to, to play that much anymore, so um, I only play my premiums like for one or two matches I get back, play premiums real fast, then get back offline because I have other things to do and this pretty much forces you to also buy premium time uh, with a premium tank which I think is um, very unfair to all the guys who bought premium tanks and um, should be changed that the premium tanks make more credits or get a higher income and um, I think in general they have to increase the income for all the vehicles because there are just so many matches where you will lose and you are unable to win and you will not make enough credits and um, unfortunately I think uh, Wargaming will not do that because buying premium is one of the main reasons uh, or one of the reasons um, yeah, uh, buying premium is pretty much just for World of Tanks the the, the main source of income. Uh, the premium tanks are, in my opinion, not well. They are they are pretty bal pretty well balanced. But if you only have a premium tank and you don't have premium, it will take you a lot longer. So I think they should really change that. And you can see I have a good match of 4,000 damage here. I uh, got 14 hits in. I lost about uh, two thirds of my HP, and uh, I had a good team. I had a very good team, and we played very well, and we beat the enemy team. And I made it in this game. Uh, I will switch over to the uh, to the results real fast, and I'll tell you what I did. So as you can see, it was a victory, and I made 83,798 credits. Um, that was 2007 experience, and uh, out of my uh, 16 shots, I landed 15, and uh, one of them was not a non-penetrated penetrating shot, and I missed one on the IS-6. I got a couple of medals and uh, unnecessary stuff, and uh, you can see how much credits I made. Uh, I made 59,543 credits. That's pretty much I lost. Uh, roughly 24,000 credits and with premium I would have gotten 101,000 uh, you can see that's a 50% increase and I think if you own a tier 8 premium already and you paid the price for this tank you don't need the premium or you should not be needing the premium um, you can see I, I managed to make 60,000 and this is a very good game so you will not have a game like this every like every game you play with the low and this is what bothers me so if you get into a bad game you get into a tier 10 match you make you only do about 300 600 700 damage or 1000 damage because you're unable to penetrate the higher tier tanks which automatically makes you load APCR to be able to pen anything you're gonna lose money and if you're not running premium and I know this is the strategy of World of Tanks or Wargaming to make money and it's very efficient and a lot of people just don't really care about it. But I think, and uh, I really want to know what you guys think, I think that they should change this, that the premium tanks at least make 20% more credits if you do not own premium. Um, I think if you already pay 40, 30 bucks for a tank, you at least should get a equal uh, amount of credits back um, for playing or for buying this tank. I mean, I got it for 30 bucks. I don't regret anything. Um, I 
I financed every tank through this tank and uh, I just think they should change this for the new guy or the other guys who paid 50 bucks for this tank because I would be really disappointed if I get a tier A premium tank and I only make 40, 50 thousand and then out of those 50 thousand I lose 20 thousand for ammunition and repair costs and um, I only end up with 30 thousand I have to play 40 matches to to be able to get to uh, four, five, seven hundred thousand credits and I think they should definitely change that and uh, yeah this was pretty much this video and uh, I know it's a little bit different uh, I had a couple of troubles uh, I had a little bit of trouble sometimes uh, thinking about what I wanted to say because you know this is just a topic I didn't really think about it. it's just uh, this is a very spontaneous video pretty much so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed if you did please comment and I and I want to know what you guys think about this whole thing if the premium tanks should earn more credits uh, or if um, this is completely justified. So I'll see you guys um, some other day.